All right, so this video we're going to look at finding the equation of a line that passes through a point and is perpendicular to a line, to another line. All right, so what you need to remember is whenever you're finding the equation of a line, you have to have the slope and a point on the line. Well, you can see here we have a point on the line. Now we just need to know the slope of our line. All right, so let's look at that. Well, it tells us that the line we're looking for is perpendicular to this one. So that means the slope of our line is the negative reciprocal of the slope of this line. So in other words, if two lines are perpendicular, their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. So in other words, if the slope of one line is 5 over 7, then the slope of the line perpendicular to that is negative 7 fifths. You just flip it and, cha and, cha you flip it and change the sign. Okay? They're negative reciprocals of each other. All right, so what we need to do is we need to take the x minus 2y the x minus 2y equals 3 and we need to find the slope of this line. Well, if you remember y equals mx plus b, that's the slope intercept form. Okay? And remember if you have if you have an equation of a line and it's solved for y, then the number in front of x is your slope. Okay? If you have a linear equation, you have it solved for y you have it solved for y, the number in front of x is your slope. So what we need to do is solve this equation here for y. Alright, so let's subtract x to both sides. And so I get negative 2y equals negative x plus 3. And then I'm going to divide each term by negative 2. And so I get y equals one-half, the negative and negative, that's positive, one-half x minus three-halves. And you can see this is the slope of this line here. But I need the slope of the line we're looking for. Well, since our line is perpendicular to this one, the slope of our line is negative two. You flip it and change the sign. So if you flip the two, 1 over 2, that's what? 2 over 1, which is just 2. And then you change the sign in front of it, and that's where the negative 2 comes. All right. So now you can see we have our slope, and we have our point on the line. And now what we're going to use is the point-slope form. Well, the point-slope form, let me erase this, is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. All right. So here's m, negative 2, that's m. And then there's your x1 is the 4, y1 is the negative 7. Okay. So we just plug it in. All right. So we have y minus negative 7, so that's y plus 7. Remember, y minus negative 7, then two minuses make the plus, okay, equals negative 2 times x minus 4. All right, and then we solve it for y. So we'll distribute the negative 2. y plus 7 equals negative 2x plus 8. Subtract 7 to both sides. I get y equals negative 2x plus 1. And that's your answer. Well, I hope the video helped. Uh, check out my other videos. I've got a lot more. You can check those out. Uh, if you like them, subscribe. And thanks for watching.